Hi ladies, welcome back. It's Sally and this is Fabulous Over 50. On today's video, I'm going to address something that we all tend to suffer with as we get older. It's an area of concern that we often neglect until it's too late. So if you're ready, let's get started. Now, when it comes to aging, we can do many things to counteract the signs of aging, such as really good skincare, facials. We can even have Botox or dermal filler if that's our choice. But there are certain dead giveaways when it comes to our age, and often that's the neck, the backs of the hands, and around the eyes. Today, I'm going to talk about the backs of the hands. There's no avoiding it. Our hands take a beating throughout our lifetime. Many of us use our hands for work. Myself, I was a hairdresser for a number of years, many years ago, so my hands were constantly wet. Now, you have probably also worked with your hands, and if you haven't, then you have probably been out in the sun without any sun protection on your hands. The sun is a powerful source of energy, but it is also very aging. Often we will put sun cream on our face and our bodies and we'll include our hands, but of course we wash our hands often through the day. So the sunscreen gets washed off and then our hands are vulnerable to getting burnt or damaged in the sun. The sun absolutely depletes collagen and it also causes pigmentation. Those are the two number one factors that make our hands look older. So first up, the first thing that I recommend that everybody does is get yourself a good sun protection. This is La Roche-Posay. It is my absolute favorite. It's factor 50 and it goes on really, really well without feeling sticky or leaving a strange film on your skin. If we can really be vigilant at always applying our sunscreen every time we wash our hands, then it would be ideal. But I know that that doesn't happen. It's almost impossible to do that, especially when we're out and about. So I highly recommend you get a little spray sunscreen, which are really easy to pop into your handbag. And if you're ever caught short, then you can spray your hands with that. Our skin, as we get older, starts to slow down in terms of cellular turnover. So our skin cells normally are on a 28 day cycle and they turn over and we can look glowy and youthful all the time. However, as we get older, the dead skin cells on the surface don't really flake away as often, which means our skin looks dull, it looks dry, and it looks dehydrated and therefore older. So the first thing that we need to address is the dead cells. So that's exfoliation. Now there are loads of things that you can use for exfoliation. There are body scrubs, there are lots of things that are out there, but we really want something that we can use which absolutely gets to work on the skin cells and will remove those dead skin cells and help us brighten our hands. Now I like to use an acid peel. So a really good peel is going to penetrate those dead skin cells, lift them up and also make the skin cells that are underneath those dead cells more receptive to the next treatment that I'll teach you about. Now, I like this brand here. This is Minimalist, and this is a really good glycolic acid peel. A good peel will not irritate the skin as long as you use it properly, but it's really going to help remove those dead skin cells and activate those fresh cells underneath so they're receptive to the next bit that I'm going to talk about. Now, this is a brand called Minimalist, and if you haven't heard of them, I want you to go and check them out. Now, if you've heard of The Ordinary, Minimalist, well, they're kind of in that same field. However, they are so affordable. They have got no fragrances, no nasties. They're completely transparent in their ingredients, which I adore. So that's step number one, exfoliation. Step number two is addressing deep down into the skin. So you want to be looking for something that's an active. An active is something that actually is doing something. For want of a better description, it is actively doing something to your skin, causing cells to spring into action and getting that product down where it needs to be to do the good work. The product that I absolutely love is this here. It's called Faded. Now, it is specifically made to reduce pigmentation. It has incredible ingredients, including tranosamic acid, kojak acid, and niacinamide. These ingredients are known 
to lift pigmentation, to brighten the skin. They are incredible ingredients. Now, this does have a little bit of an odor, but that's because it has no artificial fragrances whatsoever. And with some acids, they do have a little bit of a whiff. However, that does fade very, very quickly. And at the end of the day, it's about whether this is working. The ingredients are more important than a little bit of a whiff. Now, if you're using acids or any kind of actives on your skin, you've got to think about your skin barrier because we're exfoliating the skin, then we're adding another thing that's very active. So we want to make sure that we don't lose moisture and we protect the skin barrier. And we do that with a really good moisturizer. This one here is by Minimalist again. I absolutely love that brand and I'm not sponsored by them. This is a ceramide moisturizer. Ceramides really help balance and protect the skin, heal your lipid layer. So it's also brilliant if, for example, you're having a reaction, like I often get on my neck, this is going to soothe the skin, not irritate it. Again, completely fragrance-free, completely transparent and clean ingredients. Now, coupled with my absolute favorite find of all, these are moisturizing gloves, or gloves for moisturizer, should I say. Now, these are fab. Pop your moisturize on, pop your gloves on, and they've got these little smartphone little pads so you can sit on your phone or your iPad happily while you know your skin is getting the care and attention that it needs. Now my non-negotiable when it comes to my skin are using ingredients that are known to brighten and restore the health of my skin. So for the backs of the hands, that's going to be vitamin C, ferulic acid, hyaluronic acid, and something called alpha arbutin. Now these absolutely are known and proven to reduce pigmentation. The vitamin C serum that I have, again from Minimalist, I told you it's so good. I'm almost obsessed with this brand is actually on par with brands that cost over a hundred pounds or dollars. I think this was around about $12, 12 pounds. It's just incredible value. Now, vitamin C is a skin brightener. It also protects the skin against environmental stresses. Ferulic acid helps restore the skin and helps skin texture, tone, and elasticity. Hyaluronic acid is a hydrator. It's a fabulous, fabulous little serum. It also contains vitamin E, which also is known to restore the lipid layer and protect against stressors daily too. Now, if you're only going to pick one of these serums, you can pick the Alpha Arbutin because this one absolutely targets pigmentation dark spots. It says on the bottle, that's what it's for. You need to apply it every single day to the backs of your hands, morning and night, but always, always remember your sun protection too. Now, the other little secret that I wanted to share with you is what I take into the shower every single day and what I have in my bathroom when I go to wash my hands. It's this little soap. It's kojic acid and collagen. Let's face it, we know what collagen does for us. It's great for plumping, but kojic acid brightens and helps with dark spots. It literally lightens the skin. This is a fantastic combo. It also smells fabulous. This is something that I found and I absolutely adore it. My very last non-negotiable that helps with the aging process, not just the backs of the hands, of course, but everywhere, including your bones and joints, is collagen. I absolutely love this one. I take this every single day. It doesn't taste of anything. I pop it in my coffee, give it a whiz. In fact, I'd say it makes my coffee a little creamier. This is my non-negotiable. I take collagen internally every single day. And in fact, you'll see a lot of doctors and dermatologists now saying that collagen taken internally definitely helps with your skin. So that's it, ladies. That's what I've been doing to help with the aging process for the backs of my hands. But all of those products can be used on the face or anywhere on the body as well. Paying attention to our hands and making sure that we protect our hands as we go out will really go a long way with the appearance of the aging process. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, perhaps give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe. I bring videos every single week to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.